It's time to change and it's time to talk. Town and Weir Fire and Rescue Service are fighting more than just fires. Today the teams celebrate becoming the first emergency service in the North East to sign the Blue Light campaign as the battle continues to fight the stigma around mental health. But what is this stigma? While firefighters continue to save us, sometimes it is themselves who need to be saved. Chief Fire Officer Tom Capling is delighted to be at the forefront of the new pledge. Ultimately it's about trying to work against the stigma that's associated with mental health, putting things in place so that anybody that experiences poor mental health can actually access support. And it's not about official support where you know, everybody goes to see a doctor or a psychiatrist. It's about that you know, low-key, early intervention where you can speak to friends, you can speak to colleagues. Um, we know that there's a higher level uh, of poor mental health within Blue Light services anyway. Uh, the research is there to, to show that. Um, uh, whether that's because of the, the, the environment we work in um, or the things that we actually see, but we know that there is an impact. And there are plenty out there who need to be saved, a quarter of a million to be exact, and one of them is a man who has been through it and come out the other side. Up in the North East to speak to us at today's event was Richard McGee. Yeah, I think talking is the key and that's, that's where I have I've kind of, what's pulled me through it really more than anything. Um, there is a stigma, um, I'm fully aware there's a stigma, I'm, Pretty lucky in the sense that I haven't haven't had you know much sort of grief. There's been people um, that I thought that might be over worrying and over panicking, um, but generally the, the reception I've received from from staff and and sort of employers have, have been brilliant. Um, yeah, talking is, is definitely key. In the blue light services, the public perception is of strong heroes and heroines doing their job on the front line, and that's true. They do a very very difficult job. But if we look at mental illness, mental health issues as being a sign of weakness, then would you come out and talk about it? So I think for the frontline services, the blue light services, to be showing this commitment to opening up and speaking about mental illness is such a sign of strength on their behalf. So, with 87% of emergency service personnel in the North East living with mental health issues, the question has to be raised. Why has action not been taken sooner? Some excellent work's being done, you know, some fantastic work. But now that it's being joined up by, by the, the national uh, thing of mind, then it's, it's, a, it's a great opportunity for all of the blue light to learn from each other, to learn from the good work that has been done in the past, but then to share that and actually you know, move on. With the initiative launched, now we wait to see if the blue light campaign will give the green light to fight against mental health. Bethany Elsie, Made in Tyne and Weir.